In the last few minutes, it's been announced that English footballing legend Jack Charlton has died. He passed away last night at his home in Northumberland with his family by his side. The former player and manager played as a defender and was part of the England team which won the 1966 World Cup. Andy Swiss looks back on his life. Few have blended courage and charisma quite like Jack Charlton as a player, a manager and as part of English football's most famous family. Bobby Charlton with the corner. Jack! Perfect goal! Charlton grew up in Northumberland and after a brief spell as a minor, opted for a career in football along with his younger brother Bobby. But while Bobby's attacking flair soon made him a star, Jack's defensive qualities were rather less glamorous. Great tackle by Charlton. Came in like a brick wall and he's hurt. He got an elbow in the face. For all his bravery, he always admitted he was no match for his brother. People try to compare us and I used to say, you shouldn't compare us. I can't play. I can stop other people playing, but I can't play. Bobby can play. He's a creative player. But there's a place in the game for both types. And it was a point he proved very successfully. Charlton's power helped him score goals as well as stop them. He spent his entire playing career at Leeds United, winning the league title in 1969. He wasn't called up for England until he was nearly 30, but soon made his mark, scoring his first international goal against Finland in 1966. Oh, Jackie Charlton's got it, and it's a goal! And a month later came his defining moment. Both he and Bobby part of the team which lifted the World Cup. The brothers were now both international celebrities. After 35 caps and more than 600 appearances for Leeds, Charlton eventually retired as a player in 1973 before embarking on the next stage of his career. He was first a manager at Middlesbrough, where his passion and personality proved an instant hit. If the ball's coming towards you and he's going back, there's no way you're going to jump. He guided them to promotion before spells at Sheffield Wednesday and Newcastle United. But it's as the Republic of Ireland's manager that he'll be most colourfully remembered. After taking them to their first ever World Cup in 1990, Charlton's team produced the shock of the tournament by reaching the quarter-finals. The English hero was now an Irish one too. At the 1994 finals, despite receiving a touchline ban, he guided Ireland to the last 16, before two years later he resigned and effectively retired. Away from football, Charlton was a man who enjoyed the rural life, especially as a keen fisherman. While his garrulous nature and ready wit made him a chat show staple. You're the same age as me, actually, would you believe? Or I'm the same age as you. I got told you were a bit older than me. <laughs> <laughs> I remember going to a cricket match and watching you report, and I was only 15. <laughs> his relationship with his brother had become strained after a family dispute. But on an emotional night in 2008, he presented an award to the player he still regarded as the best. When we were kids and we used to go to the park and play, I would go home for dinner and he'd stay on all day. Bobby Charlton is a the greatest player I've ever seen, isn't my brother? But while he often lived in his brother's shadow, Jack Charlton's achievements, like the man, stood tall. One of English football's biggest and best-loved characters. Well, let's talk to Kat now. I mean, the first thing to say, uh, as we just, in the last few minutes, uh, uh, have brought people this news, is obviously for his family and for his friends this is a very personal loss for everyone else you know this is a hero isn't it a world cup winner a world cup winner and of course uh, that world cup winner 1966 will be what most people remember him for for leeds united of course though such a special player for them a record number of appearances 773 appearances for leeds uh, leeds fans voted him into their best ever 11 as well uh, just a few years ago and uh, he won with them the second division title the first division title the fa cup the league cup uh, over a 23 year period uh, at the club so a remarkable club 
career as well for Jack Charlton as well and he was one of the all-time great central defenders of the game Leeds United have said this morning about him of course you heard during that uh, obituary to him that he was uh, overshadowed and even he said he was overshadowed by his uh, his brother Sir Bobby Charlton the Manchester United legend uh, Bobby Charlton was actually signed up to play for Manchester United when Jack Charlton was uh, undergoing his national service and uh, when he came back from that national service he was given a trial at the age of 15 by Leeds United he turned down that opportunity because he said he wanted to actually go down and work in the mines with his father but having tried that as a career he decided it wasn't particularly very pleasant and he would reconsider that offer from Leeds United and uh, the rest is a say is history it was his mother who got him and the rest of her sons into playing football his father apparently wasn't that interested in the game of football at all but uh, his mother was a keen school football coach she was the one who got her boys uh, involved in uh, playing football and he went on of course after that uh, uh, signing up for Leeds United to play for England to represent his country 35 times playing in two World Cups and a European Championship and we heard as well a really good and uh, successful managerial career followed pretty much straight after the retirement from his playing career he went on to lead Middlesbrough to the 1974 second division title led Sheffield Wednesday to promotion while he was in charge there also had a spell at Newcastle United as well and then that remarkable run to the quarter-finals of the 1990 World Cup as the manager of the Republic of Ireland team they also went to the European oh, Championships Jackie under him as well and the 1990 for World Cup before he retired completely from football in 1996. Uh, we have heard from Leeds United, they're the club uh, who have released uh, the news this morning of uh, Jack Charlton's death. Uh, they have it's a lengthy um, statement from them listing all of his achievements, uh, all of the key stats of his remarkable career, but it ends by saying Charlton's contribution to the game and Leeds United will never be forgotten. He'll remain in football folklore forever and his records at Leeds United are unlikely ever to be surpassed. Naturally, our thoughts are with Jack's family and friends at this difficult time. And they also um, have released through the club a statement from Jack Charlton's family it says Jack died peacefully on Friday the 10th of July at the age of 85. He was at home in Northumberland with his family by his side. As well as a friend to many, he was a much adored husband, father, grandfather and great grandfather. We cannot express how proud we are of the extraordinary life he led and the pleasure he brought to so many people in different countries and from all walks of life. So this is the news that Jack Charlton has died at the age of 85.